Well, hi everyone and welcome to Community Journal. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it and uh, I can't believe we're uh, almost here for Thanksgiving and I actually know. Uh, we're going to be running this show for two weeks because yes. we have got a lot of important information in the show. So get your paper and pen out now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, we have uh, been relatively cold and relatively warm this month. Um, I showed a low of 21 uh, one night. Oh, and, yes. And uh, then we've been mostly in the <clears throat> 40s, so that's not so bad. And the rain this month hasn't been uh, too bad either. Even though we've had a lot of gray days, we haven't had a lot of rain. No, it's been caping. It's been caping. <laughs> yeah, we like to call it caping. Right, that's true. Um, we have a very, very important announcement here at the top of the show. If you remember, uh, back in July, we had a rather historic event here on the Cape. We technically had three tornadoes come through uh, Harwich. And uh, during that time, you know, people, many people were uninformed as to uh, what the heck was going on because it was serious, it was dangerous, and... Um, and it was sudden. And it was sudden. Mm. It certainly was. Mm. And um, the police, the fire, and water departments, along with our director here at Channel 18, uh, have sat down and they spent many hours putting together a new early warning system. Now the old one, if you remember, came out through the water department, which served us very well, uh, but now it's time to upgrade the system. And they have uh, since upgraded a new system, but you have to register in order to be on the list. And we highly encourage everyone in town, in town to get on this list. And why should you? Well. Emergencies happen all the time, and knowing what to do before the emergency, during and after an emergency, improves your odds. <clears throat> now, the warnings that are going to be available to, to you uh, will be uh, emergency alerts for winter storms, water department alerts, hurricanes, thunderstorms and lightning, tornadoes, not only that, but also community uh, notifications, police detours, um, beach updates, annual town meeting information, community center events, cultural centers, and employment opportunities. All of that will be available uh, on this uh, uh, new information uh, management system. Council on Aging uh, as well. And, and, and of course Council on mm. Aging and, uh, information as well. However, in order to get on this list, you have to fill out form that Eileen is going to show you here. I don't know if we can get a close look at it. Probably not because it is. There will be uh, an enlarged version of this. Yeah, we'll have a large print version of this and there's Jamie holding it up. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, and Eileen's holding it up. You have to fill this out in order to be on the list. Now, you, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it online and there is a website you can do, go to online and uh, let me give you the website. Get out the pencil and paper. Here we go with the website again. It's Harwich with a capital H dash M A period regroup dot com. Well, that's not so bad. No, it's not. No, that's, no, that's, that's not so bad. I'll, yeah. I'll repeat that because this is <clears throat> extremely important. Capital H Harwich dash M A dot regroup dot and enter your contact information. Uh, then we'll send updated alerts through mail, voice, or text. Now on that form, you'll, you'll be able to check off all the various ways or all the various things you want to be informed about. So this is really very important. And uh, we stress that everybody in the community get on board with this and um, you know, get, get yourself signed up. Um, it's yes, and, and if you don't have a computer or you're not computer savvy, there will be an enlarged version of this form available here at the Community Center, Council on Aging, the Brooks Free and the Brooks Free Library. All right, so make sure you either fill it out, paper and pen, or you go online and fill it out online. But it's very important, as Jack said, that we all are on board for the town of Harwich. Very good. Yeah, no, we can't... <laughs> Um, it was a shock. It was a shock. Okay, very good. So, now we're going to turn to our first uh, spot of the day, uh, which is going to be a Council on Aging update. Uh, Emily Mitchell, the director of the COA, sat down with Dinah 
to bring us up to what's going on at the COA. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm here with Emily Mitchell of the COA. She's here for an update. Can't believe it's time for another update, but here we are, and it's real, always great to see her. Hi, Emily. Hi, Dinah. Thanks for having me, as always. <laughs> great to see you. Yes. I know, it's hard to believe that we're already um, here to talk to you about some holiday events, and <laughs> right. hard to believe that they've come so quickly. Yes, it is. Yes. Racing right along. Yes. <coughs> yes, so next week is our short Thanksgiving week, and then we're into December. And uh -huh. so we have some fun holiday events coming up in December Great. that I'd love to let people know about um, so they have time to sign up and, mm -hmm. and plan ahead. Um, so we actually have two on December 18th, so same day. It's a Wednesday. Um, the first one is a line dance showcase. So there are some folks who meet here. I'm sure folks who are familiar with the building know the Cape Sands Ballroom Dance Group. And so they will put on a show for us um, that day, the 18th. Um, it's at 1230, so right after our lunch program. And they've practiced all different types of dance, uh, Latin, jazz, holiday, that type of thing. Um, and they're going to perform in our multi-purpose room right after lunch. They did it last year. People really, really enjoyed it. Um, so if you want to come to lunch, if you're a regular or not a regular, and then stay for the show, mm -hmm. it's just half an hour, 12.30 to 1, um, and it's a really good time. It's impressive what, what this group of people can do. Um, so that's our first event that day. I think I've seen a little preview of that just through the window yes, from time yes. to time. <laughs> yes, they are around, and it's great to watch them. Most definitely. It looks like a great group. Yes. So. I know, I wish I had one ounce of uh, their talent. <laughs> and energy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lots of energy, right? Definitely. Yep. Um, and then that same day in the evening, we have our holiday concert and dance with the Sound Dune Swing Ensemble. Mm. And we try to do something with them um, usually every month or two, and it's always fabulously attended. The last mm -hmm. one we had um, in September, we had 80-plus um, people at, and it was everyone had a great time. So there'll be holiday music, there'll be sing-along, they'll be dancing, we'll have refreshments. Um, and mm -hmm. that's 6 to 8 p.m. That that's same, same day. evening? Yes. Okay, the 18th? Yes. Excellent. Wednesday? Wednesday, yes. Okay. So it'll be a big day for us that day. Yes, <laughs> and lots of sand and dunes, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that one you do have to RSVP ahead of time um, because we do get so many folks who are interested. Mm -hmm. So we just ask for the Monday before, so December 16th. Okay. End of the day, 4 p.m. for folks People to... People should call Yes. to let you know they're coming. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And um, they can also email me. My email's on the uh, newsletter, which has the information okay. as well. So right. however you want to let us know, we'll be happy to have you. Okay. Yes. And then the last thing I wanted to mention, um, it might be a little bit early, or it might <laughs> seem early, but 2020 is the next uh, federal census. Mm. So we haven't had a federal census since 2010. So 2020 is the year. Um, and the census is really a critically important thing. It determines a lot of our funding. Um, it also determines our political representation, how representatives are apportioned. Mm. Um, so it's going to be a big deal for us. So it's important that everyone be counted. Very, 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 very important. Mm -hmm. um, and Barnstable County has actually identified five hard-to-count groups in the area, mm. and seniors and snowbirds are on that list uh -huh. of hard-to-count. Mm -hmm. um, so something that's important to know is that the census, um, you're supposed to fill out the census where you live and sleep most of the year. So the census day is April 1st, but you don't necessarily fill it out where you are on April 1st. So it's supposed to be you use the address of where you live and sleep most of the year. So if you're here in Harwich, mm -hmm. you know, nine months or six months in a day, mm -hmm. um, then you're right. supposed to fill it out with your Harwich address. Wherever you claim residency. Exactly. <coughs> um, okay. So that's really important. So um, I've actually been working with Jenny at the library to try and plan some programming. Mm. So what is the census? Why is it important? information mm. will they ask how can you fill it out mm -hmm. that type of thing mm -hmm. um, so we're planning things for as early as December we don't have an exact date yet but we're going to be doing them um, really throughout the winter and spring so that folks have accurate information mm -hmm. and when do people receive the census itself so it comes in the mail so that's something that's different this year. Oh, so okay. this is the first time for the census that people can fill it out online. Oh my. Um, and there's actually a really big push to fill it out online. That's, yeah. Well, so, that's very convenient. It is. So you don't have to worry about whether your mail arrived or whether you're there to get the mail. Most definitely. Yes. Okay. Um, so you'll get a card that will have like a <laughs> PIN number on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's the PIN number you'd use online. There are, there, it is still an option to fill out the paper form. You can fill it out by phone. Um, 
Hmm. Something we're focused on here at the COA is folks who maybe aren't as familiar with technology or aren't as comfortable using the internet or don't have internet access. So we'll be planning days and times where folks can come in here, actually, mm -hmm. and use our technology and have some staff assistance filling out um, the census if they want to do the online format. Very um, good. Yes. But you're here to help. We are absolutely here to help. Make sure that everyone gets counted. Yes. Okay. Yes. So be on the lookout for events and that information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for the, the heads up. Most definitely. Early as it seems. <laughs> it is. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thanks again for coming in, Emily. Thanks, Dinah. This is Diane Lane for Channel 18. Thank you so much. And we thank Emily and uh, sitting down, bringing us up to date. Uh, yes. You know, that's um, always a busy place at the COA. And, it certainly uh, is. You know, you go over there and there's, you know, everything's going on. And they do so many it's things. It's always buzzing. They do such buzzing a great Buzzing with job. activity. They do. You've got an important announcement yes, there. Yes, I do. The Harwich Recreation has done an incredible job of setting up some programs that you need to know about. The after-school program for uh, grades K through 4, uh, and it will be held Monday through Friday, the winter session one is $60 per day. Um, and it lists the, the dates for each day of the week. And then winter session two will also be $60 a day, and that will run through uh, the month of February, from what I can see, and session one will be December. So very important, and there's some important information on the back of this brochure, which I assume you can pick up here at the um, community center at the recreation department. Um, there's important information if you're going to sign up for that particular program. Um, and then there is a February vacation day program for grades K through 4, and they will be Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, there's a daily rate of $35 a day, or if you want to do the, all four days, it'll be $100. Uh, and there's also information on the front about that and um, what the participants are required to bring, such as water and a healthy snack and lunch and so forth. Uh, but there's also some other um, fun things that you can sign up for. There'll be travel basketball for grades three through six, boys' teams and girls' teams. Uh, there'll be K-1 and 2 basketball. Uh, in the gym, uh, there will be also uh, grade K, yeah, K1 and 2, and then there'll be open gym, um, and that's for residents only. And <clears throat> uh, let me see, I think that's just uh, the information there, and you just come here to the uh, community center and pick one up and sign up as soon as you can, because I'm sure these will fill up quickly. I'm sure they will. Yes. And, uh, as, uh, Anything that, uh, that's the rec department? Yeah, yes, just it about is. about anything they do yes, signs up pretty quick. Yes, it does. It and, does. and this is wonderful. It covers children when they're out of school yeah, no, and after does. school. No, yeah. That's great. Here's a different one. I haven't seen this one before. The Harwich Police Soccer Club is sponsoring a winter futsal league. And uh, this is starting on December 7th. And it's co-ed grades 3 to 12, Saturday mornings at the Harwich Cultural Center, the former middle school gym, uh, grades 3 to 4, uh, Saturday, December 7th and 14th at 8.30, grades 5 to 7, Saturday, December 7th and 14th at 10.30, and grades 8 to 12, Saturday, December 7th and 14th at 1 p.m. These times are only for the first two weeks. The first two weeks will consist of registration and informal scrimmages, Coaches will then establish co-ed teams that will play a 10-week league against each other, capped off with playoffs and championships at the Monomoy Regional High School. Nice wow. Championship there. Yes, so isn't that great? And there is no cost for this program, which is really nice, but donations are appreciated. Any questions, you can contact Bob Brackett at 508-326-3432. That's 508 508- 326-3432, or you can email soccer at harwichpolice.com. And you, they also have a Twitter page. You can follow them at Twitter at Harwich PD Soccer, and you can follow them on, on Instagram at, at HPDS, uh, HPD Soccer. All of these new ways of following I know. Everybody. That's amazing. <laughs> and you can also check out the YouTube channel, which is <laughs> HPD Soccer. So that's the Winter Futsal League 2019, and it's sponsored.
Our next spot uh, today, um, as they do every year, uh, the Garden Club of Harwich uh, does just marvelous things throughout the year, but especially during the, ho the holidays. So um, they sponsor a holiday boutique that if you, if you haven't been there, you really need to go because it's a... Uh, it's a major fundraiser, yeah, too, for the club. Know, yes, <laughs> I do. Many a year I spent doing that boutique. Yeah, you <clears> certainly <throat> did, and it's well worth going. It is. Uh, Sue Mills and Kathy Arthur sat down with Dinah uh, to give us a little idea of what's going to happen this year at the Holiday Boutique for the Garden Club of Harwich. Let's take a look. Hello. I'm here with the Garden Club of Harwich. Uh, fortunately, we have Sue Mills and Kathy Arthur with us to tell, tell us all about their Holiday Boutique. So nice to see you, Sue. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what this event is and uh, when it is and where it is? It's that would be Saturday, great. Saturday, December 7th mm -hmm. from 9 to noon, and it's here at the Community Center. Okay, great. And we have wonderful. lots of wonderful things. And you have brought some beautiful things to show. Yes. This is just, I'm sure, a small sample of what will be on this right. and for sale, mm -hmm. right? Right. And uh, Kathy and Sue, I understand you are the organizers of this particular event. Yes, we're the co-chairs. Co-chairs. For the Christmas Boutique mm -hmm. this year, and there's a list of other people that work on it. I'm sure there are lots of people in the yeah. Garden Club. Yes. Okay. And uh, how, how long have people been working on the things that you've brought and you're going to be displaying mm. on the 7th? There's a lot more to come because we do... Fresh greens is a huge part mm -hmm. of ours, ah. and so naturally we have to wait until the appropriate time to cut them and put them together. We have the baskets or containers ready, the oasis, mm. to put everything in. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these handmade things started actually a couple of months back. Right. A lot of handmade items take hand painting and mm -hmm. all different kinds of stuff, and we basically start as early as we can get the materials that we need. Mm -hmm. And do you have regular meetings? For this event or for the Garden Club? The well, gar for the Garden Club first. Yeah. Just. The Garden Club has uh, their meetings on the first Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. And the meetings are uh, usually, mm -hmm. and we go over all the business things. And then whatever is coming up right now is the Christmas Boutique is kind of high on the list for the meeting for mm -hmm. November. and. And it goes on like that. And then we have, we're together all the time, <laughs> all the time, yes. with ideas to sell things and yeah. people that are interested in donating their time and with their expertise. Mm -hmm. So we kind of brainstorm on that all the time. And, and where do the things get created? Do people do them in their own homes, or do you have meetings where you get together and work on, on certain projects? We basically do workshops here. Uh-huh. For the at big the community things. center. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's one this afternoon for oh. Rees. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and then there'll be more closer to the event. And other times we're working in people's houses, mm -hmm. uh -huh. getting together a small group of people to do one particular item. I see. So do people come up with ideas for projects and then teach them to other people? Is that yes. how, you, yeah. how you do it? Uh -huh. Yeah. And how many members of the Garden Club are there, Sue? Do you know? hundred? Yeah. Oh, a hundred. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. You have quite a large group. Mm. Yeah. And do the, most of them show up for each of the monthly meetings? Usually. Uh-huh. Unless they're snowbirds, you know. Ah, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> we do lose a few in the winter, yeah, don't right. we? we do. <clears throat> but they fly back in the spring. Right. When the flowers are beginning to come out. Yes. Yep. Right. Okay. Well, this sounds like a great event. Is there anything you'd particularly like to... Uh, Feature. I know you had a couple of things you wanted right. to show. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty ball. Right. right. Lovely. Yep. A little ornament. Mm hmm. Very nice. And this is one of my favorites. Oh, yes. With a little tree and the star on the top. Yeah. And that is made out of a shell. You yes. can turn it around to show the back of the shell. It's a beautiful shell. Very unique. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely. And then over there you have a little, um, little pot with a little uh, mug. Mug, yes, with hot chocolate mm -hmm. and little uh, marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there should be something for everyone for decorating. Yes. And December 7th is in plenty of time, really, for the holiday. Yes. So that's terrific. Well, 
Um, thank you so much for coming in, telling us about your event. Mm -hmm. And is it possible for others to join the Garden Club? Oh, well, How, what is the in. process? for that you just contact us even online okay we're online okay and um, contact us that way and we would love to have new members we're always looking for new members okay all right and Great. it's a it's a wonderful group of women that are mm. just so supportive of each other it's a it's a great organization Terrific. to join if you can do it so online it's the garden club of harwich yeah. that's how people would look it up right okay right and there'll be members listed and uh -huh. I mean, you might see someone you know yeah and yeah yeah, we usually get new members because someone in the club knows a neighbor or someone that's interested. But mm -hmm. we're open to anyone that's mm -hmm. would like to do this. It's it is a an organization that everybody contributes something. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, you. Our main thing in this town is take care of all the gardens in mm. our public parks. I see. Okay. All those beautiful planters yes. that are all over town that everybody goes crazy for. Right, right. Someone has to water That's them. That's maintained by the Garden Club. Yeah. yeah. We do all of that. That's wonderful And we to supply know. all the materials yeah. in them. So when we do boutiques like this, yeah. we need to raise money so we can right. fill those planters. Right. And do all the th and we have scholarships that we do. So uh -huh. our I fundraisers, see. our plant sale, our boutique, those are very, very important. So we encourage yeah. people if they need to get a little item for holidays, mm -hmm. to think of the garden club because you're also donating to the beauty of this. The beauty town. of the town, absolutely. And, well, uh, that's great to know. Yeah, yeah, it is important. I wondered who those people were in hats and yeah. carrying watering right. cans. Right, <laughs> right. <us. clears throat> so new members are, would be encouraged. They would do some of those things mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. still get to hear wonderful speakers. It's yeah. very educational. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's just a great organization and I really encourage people to, to look into the Garden Club and see if it's something they'd like to do. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for coming in and talking welcome. about You're your welcome. boutique and also about the club. Thank you for having me. Very nice us. to see you. Thank yeah. you. This is Dinah Lane for Channel 18. Thank you so much. Wow. Well, I what... must say they have some beautiful things there. And uh, as always, every year they do a great job. And that was just a sampling yes. of what will be there on yes. Saturday, December 7th, right here at the Harwich Community Center, Stroll Weekend from 9 in the morning until 12 noon. And uh, Kathy and Sue did a great job yes, they with did. Dinah. And I love what they brought as samples of what will be available to you. And remember, it is a fundraiser. You not only will be beautifying your own home for the holidays, but you'll be helping the Garden Club to fund the beautifying of the town year-round. Very good. And uh, as we said before, it's a great thing to go to. Yes, it is. Yes. Be there early. Be there early <laughs> because, yeah, you can lose out if you're not. That's, that's for sure. Um, our next spot today, uh, we've shown this, I believe, once before, but we'd like to show it again. This is this annual after Thanksgiving indoor sale. Here's a great opportunity. There are 50 tables available. I don't know if there are still 50 tables available, but uh, ask about our changes to help vendors. Um, antiques, collectibles, crafts, art, holiday decor, uh, yard sale items as well. Uh, it's Saturday, November 30th. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here at the community center and the admission is free it's in the gym so uh, please remember there is in the gym if you have any questions you can ask Mike and his email is Mike Smith 6699 at gmail.com that's Mike Smith all lowercase 6699 at gmail.com or you can call 508-221 zero nine seven that's five zero eight two two one zero nine seven seven very so good yeah that's another great opportunity and Your speaking turn. speaking of great opportunities <laughs>
I'm going to remind you that the open house at the Cultural Center for small, Shop Small Saturday. artists in their working studios and at their indoor market bazaar. You're invited to be part of the special event by exploring the incredible artwork of local artists in painting, photography, sculpture, mixed media, handmade jewelry, and more. This will be the perfect opportunity with your community, support local artists, and shop small for the holidays. And there also that same day is going to be a holiday wreath decorating workshop at another section of the Cultural Center on Sisson Road. And there will be a pre-registration discount of $10 off the price of $50 when you register before November 25th, which is coming up. So if you're interested, take advantage of that. Each person will be provided a double-faced balsam 12-inch wreath, as well as a large assortment of live mixed greens to add to the wreath, and a large assortment of adornments such as pine cones, drums, and gift boxes, etc., to put on your wreath. Laura will be guiding um, each person in a fun, creative way on how to embellish and adorn their wreaths while fostering their own creative flair. So materials for attaching items such as wire, shears, wooded picks, etc., will also be provided. That sounds like fun. Shop small, I'm November 30th, you, yeah, Saturday, exactly. 10 to 1. There's so much going on. It's yes, amazing. Yes, there is. Well, I picked up this uh, brochure, <laughs> and I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Uh, this is the holiday concert for the Harwich Town Band. It is, it is their 44th annual concert. Wow. Which is amazing. Wow. Yeah, that is fantastic. Uh, the Harwich Town Band is putting on their holiday concert Tuesday, December 10th at 7 o'clock right here at the Community Center. Old and new favorites, free admission, and wonderful refreshments. How wow. can you go wrong? You can't. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> 44 years they've been doing this. Get you in the uh, holiday spirit. Get you in the holiday spirit, that's for sure. So again, that's December 10th at 7 p.m. right here at the Community Center. So, do you have another one there? I do. The Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra with Matthew Sinto as the music director will be presenting a mostly English holiday concert uh, on Sunday, December 15th at 3 p.m., there will be a 2.15 pre-concert talk at Pilgrim Church, 533 Route 28 in Howardsport, and it is a benefit concert for the Alzheimer's Family Support Center. There will be music of Vaughn Williams, Elgar, Vivaldi, Grace Williams, etc. The tickets are $30 in advance, $35 at the door, and children and students are free. So if you are interested, call 508 Three four eight nine two zero two. A mostly English holiday presented by the Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra on Sunday, December fifteenth at three p.m. at the Pilgrim Church. Very good. Yes. Boy. Lots of concerts. I'm, I'm saying. And uh, here's another one. Ooh. <laughs> this one is at the First Congregational <laughs> Church of Harwich, uh, which is at six ninety seven Main Street in Harwich Center. That's that gorgeous building right mm -hmm. in Howard Center. Mm -hmm. um, this is on Saturday, December 7th at 3 p.m. Uh, this is a first church tradition with Marsha Hempel, the music director. It's going to be featuring their choir and special instrumentation. A reception to follow, and everyone is welcome. And again, that's at the First Congregational Church of Harwich, 697 Main Street in Howard Center, December 7th at 3 p.m. Yeah. And no ticket information. No, so. no ticket information. Mm. So I assume, uh, you know, there's no cost. So if, the, if we hear something different, we will let you know. And it might be a, a donation. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. I'm sure they would not refuse that. No, I'm sure they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> and donations are always, I'm sure, accepted by all um, All of these that places that work yes. so hard yes. to, you know, give us concerts exactly. and great music. That's, that's true. That's yes. very, very true. The Guild of uh, Harwich <laughs> Artists. Uh, they're having their holiday sale. Um, President Chris Banks sat down with Dinah uh, to let us know what's going on with that. So let's take a look at that right now. Hello. I'm here with Chris Banks of the Guild of Harwich Artists, and she's here to speak with us about uh, the stroll that's coming up and the shop that the Guild has in Harwichport and the opening of the holiday season, really. Yes. Right? Right. Yeah. So as you see before us, we um, 
uh, do hand painted ornaments, um, some on canvas and some on watercolor paper mm -hmm. and their frames so they can hang, mm -hmm. hang, as well as stand up. As well as stand up. And we try to do uh, both Christmas and um, cape places mm. so that they can be year round if people choose to have them. Mm. So it's they're kind of sought after. It's really fun. So these are, this is going to be the night of uh, the Christmas stroll in Harwich Port. And um, the event will, our event will be held at the Guild of Harwich Artists Art Gallery mm -hmm. on 28551 um, Main Street. And that is on? On um, December 6th. December 6th, yes, okay. on a Friday night. And the, gal the, the gallery is open at 1 o'clock. Oh, so okay. So they'll start um, selling then. Great. So Great. That opening, so it's fun. So early afternoon, people early can come down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we'll hope for great weather. I know, exactly. A nice, right. crisp, right. Uh, dry evening. Right. But it will be lovely. Yep. And uh, these are great. They're really, um, They're each really one fun. is unique. Yes, they're it's each terrific. one. Um, each one of our artists, sometimes an artist will do two or three different ones, so mm -hmm. people will look for the artists. They're all signed, so um, all created by our artists. Yeah, it's terrific. That's good. So I understand you have a new uh, board, is that right? Yes, we you have. Had we had elections. We wanted to announce and that we as have well. A <clears throat> new executive board, and I'd like to announce their names of uh, President Michael Redden. Um, First Vice President, Sedona Summer. Second Vice President, a new office that we just put into the bylaws. Mm. Rose Reynolds Schofield. Uh, Secretary, Donna Tavano. Treasurer, um, Alan Michelson. Okay. So it's a brand new board. And then, of course, our, our um, board members as well. And how often do you uh, have elections? How often do you change up? Every your... two years. Okay. Yes. All right. These people will be serving in those positions for the yes, next two years. Yes, so it'll be quite, um, quite nice, and and um, they're and very you will excited. be a humble board member. I will be a um, what do they call it? Uh, uh, president uh, ex officio. E yeah. Uh, is that what uh, it is? Past president. Past president. <laughs> exactly. How silly is that? Past president. Okay. Of course. Right. Well. Yep. It's been great talking with you, uh, you these so events, much. and I'm sure we will see you on December 6th. That'll be great. Thanks so much for coming in, Chris. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. This is Dinah Lane from Channel 8. Thank you so much. And we thank uh, Chris and Dinah, and weren't those, those are great. I know. What beautiful presents they would make. Wow. Wow. Those really would make nice presents. Including yeah. a present to self. Well, I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Eileen, remind them again, because this is so important. Yes, along with taking advantage of everything that's going on around town, please do not forget to sign up for the emergency notification. It is new, and anything that you have signed up for in the past will be replaced by this. So you must sign up, and you have two ways of doing that. You can do it online. As Jack mentioned at the top of the show, by going on the website, Harwich with a capital H, dash, M-A dot, regroup, just as it sounds, dot com. Harwich dash M-A regroup dot com. Or you can come to the community center and a larger version of this form will be available for you to fill out and pass in. Great. Thank you, Eileen. All right. You're welcome. And spread the word. Um, you know, it'll be online uh, at the different town office websites, and it will be in this week's Chronicle. But spread the word and let your friends know. Yeah. It's very, very important. It is very important. And uh, just a reminder, folks, that the community center and town offices will be closed Thanksgiving Day and Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. So um, with that, we hope that uh, all the folks in those offices have a wonderful Thanksgiving, as do we wish all of you yes. a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for joining us on behalf of all of us here at Channel 18. We really appreciate you watching. And please enjoy the holiday and enjoy all the things going on around town for the holiday season. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.